Hello budding tinkerers and innovators. Welcome to another video in the ATL Lab equipment video series. In this video, we will introduce you to a new device typically found in the ATL, something similar to the one seen here. These devices are called actuators. Actuators convert the electrical input supplied to it into rotary motion, linear motion, vibratory motion or bending motion. They may also convert the input electrical signal into visible display, light or audible sound. Actuators may also switch on or off other appliances. In this video, we will explore all about vibration motor, one of the actuator devices used by tinkerers and innovators at the ATL to build interesting projects. A vibration motor is a small, lightweight and quite DC motor that generates vibrations to provide feedback or to move objects. They are typically used in a variety of products to provide vibrational feedback to users or perform jobs that depend on vibratory movement. For example, they are used in smartphones, pagers and smart watches to provide vibrational feedback to users. Vibration motors are also used in gaming devices such as game controllers, joysticks and steering wheels. They are also used in virtual and augmented reality devices and accessories to provide haptic feedback to users in accordance with a gaming environment and user actions. Did you know that vibration motors are also used in electric toothbrushes? Isn't that interesting? Well, it's not just toothbrushes. Vibration motors are also used in head and face massages. In fact, Vibration motors find applications even in physiotherapy, pain relief devices and neuropathy devices. Vibration motors also find applications in industrial and mining applications such as soil compaction and material sorting. Vibration motors come into basic types, coin type or flat type and cylindrical or bar type. They are also known as eccentric rotating mass or linear resonant actuator motors. Either the coin type or the bar type vibration motor is used depending on the size and desired operating characteristics of the product or application. A vibration motor has several key parts that work together to create vibrations. These include the motor case that houses all the other components, a rotor made up of a shaft attached to a permanent magnet and an unbalanced weight, also called eccentric mass counterweight. The stator with copper windings helps create a magnetic field to move the rotor. There are also ball bearings to support smooth rotation, flying leads or wires to supply electrical connections to the motor, front and back motor cover plates with washers to support the rotor. As the motor rotates, the off-center weight of the eccentric rotating mass creates an uneven force causing the motor itself to displace slightly and repeatedly resulting in a perceived vibration. Do you wish to build your own application using a vibration motor? If yes, you can simply connect the vibration motors to leads to a 3 volt battery. As soon as the connection is made, the motor starts vibrating. It's as simple as that. However, if you wish to programmatically control the vibration motor, you will need an Arduino board, a relay module, a 3 volts battery, a bar type vibration motor and a few jumper wires to build the circuit. Start by making the connections between Arduino board and the input side of the relay. Connect the 5 volt pin and ground pin on Arduino with the 5 volt and ground pins respectively on the relay. Also connect the input pin of the relay to one of the data pins on the Arduino board say D8. As a next step, make connections on the output side of the relay. Connect one lead of the vibration motor to the common or C pin on the relay. Connect the second lead of the vibration motor to the positive lead of a 3 volts battery holder. Connect the negative lead of the 3 volt battery holder to the normally open or NO pin on the relay. Scan this QR code to download the Arduino sketch for vibration motor circuit and upload it to the Arduino board. Once the Arduino board is powered on, you will notice that the vibration motor rotates for 5 seconds and then turns off for next 5 seconds. 
the process of vibration motor turning on and turning off continues as long as the circuit is powered on. Hope you learned something new today. Thank you for watching.